Hello YouTube! This is Stefan from Rip City Base Works, and today I'm going to show you how to revert back to stock TouchWiz from Android 7.1.2 Nougat or 7.1.1 .1 or 7.1.0.0, whichever you're running, uh, on the Galaxy S2 i9100 series. So I'm just showing you that this is indeed Android Nougat that I'm starting from. This process is also the same from Marshmallow but the process is a bit easier for uh, anything below Marshmallow like Lollipop. So first thing you're going to want to do is completely power off your device. And this is so we can go into download mode. So you're going to want to uh, hold the power button, home button, and volume down button all at the same time until this screen appears, which you'll see shortly. There you go. And now we move on to the PC portion. So I have the files all linked in the description. You're going to need to download Odin Rio 7, which will come in a zip file that you'll have to extract. Then you'll also have to download the stock pit file. And then you're going to have to download the stock ROM, uh, I'm assuming Jelly Bean or it could be uh, ice cream sandwich or some variants. For your specific variant, I will link uh, the official firmware in the description. You'll have to search for it yourself to find it. So now you're going to want to extract Odin, open it. Now apologies for the cursor, it was kind of acting funny. Okay, and you're going to go to PDA. And when you download the firmware, you're going to want to extract it from the zip folder. It should be in a uh, tar.md5, or just tar. If the md5 is causing trouble, just delete the md5 from the file. It will should work perfectly. That's what I usually have to do for most of these. So in this case, I have the mine is actually the i9100M, so I have the Canadian variant. So you load that into PDA. You go to PIT. Choose the stock pit file and boom. And I'm showing the the uh, a split screen of the actual unit. Hit and so you're gonna want to insert a micro USB cable. And then hit the volume up key on the device. Okay, so now it should say added on Odin. Make sure auto reboot, repartition, and F reset time are all loaded, and then hit start. Now this is all fast forward for uh, to I'm pretty sure 1,000 times the uh, actual speed. So this process should take around five to ten minutes, I'd say, maybe 15 if uh, you have a very bloated variant like maybe like uh, the Puerto Rico one. Now it's just showing it booting up. This should take about five to ten minutes also so total time for this is going to be about 20 minutes from a uh, flash the boot up. Okay, and there we have it. Now I'm just going to verify that this is indeed uh, Android, I'm pretty sure 4.1.2 Jelly Bean stock TouchWiz. And yours might vary somewhat since it mines the Canadian variant. They're all, they all have slightly different firmware. Um, for, again, the, for using the Puerto Rico version for the example, Claro Mobile, it's very bloated and the, the, inter, the, the interface design is very Claro themed, so 